Joining me now is Mark O'Rock, the CEO of Cassiar Gold. Great to see you again. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, we've done this before, but let's uh, uh, update everybody in case they're not that familiar with the story about what you're doing in, in BC and the, the, the Cassiar Gold property. Absolutely. So, so we've been drilling quite a bit. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know the last time we've met, but you know, the last couple of years we drilled just under 40,000 meters. Uh, at our uh, flagship Cassier Gold project in, in Northern BC. So we've been advancing three, the project in three main areas. Uh, the first one is at the Cassier South Table Mountain High Grade Veins. So we've been very successfully extending the known veins along strike and down dip uh, with, uh, with hitting also uh, potential um, offsets and parallel vein systems as well, uh, which is, you know, this is where we have a near term development opportunity at, uh, at Cassier South. Uh, we also been expanding uh, in and around the Taurus deposit. This is where we have the bulk tonnage. This is that's open pitable. So we've been expanding laterally uh, to the pit shell, uh, as well as down dip, as well as in turn into the pit shell. There's some you know, drilling gaps uh, like uh, where basically, the, 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 because there's no drilling, there's no resource blocks. So we've been we've been uh, drilling within those gaps into resource blocks. So we've been doing that quite successfully. And we've also been drilling some of these. Uh, uh, priority regional targets as well as outlying targets like Torres Sea, Springs Canyon, and more significantly recently we've released some results at New Coast, which is two and a half kilometers south of Torres, and it has the potential to become a bulk tonnage target similar to Torres, uh, which is also along the main uh, 15 kilometer drain that is uh, the main met the main plumbing system into the Cassair district. So that means that uh, we don't know for sure if it, uh, New Coast is connected to Torres, but uh, uh, we don't know for sure if it's not. Okay. It certainly has the potential. Yeah. So is that something you want to try to find out in 24? Yeah, that's yep. something we want to follow up. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, at the very least, it looks like a bolt tennis target farming there. So uh, let's see what the turf machine, the, the drill, the, the, you know, the drill holes uh, come back with when, when we try to, you know, uh, infill those areas as well. In terms of uh, the gold sector and, and uh, gold exploration companies, juniors, we often hear about the disconnect between the price, which is comfortably above 2000 and the stocks that are down there. So when does that gap get filled and how? Well, you know, I don't have the crystal ball, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's been a very long bear market in, uh, in, uh, in a, you know, in the gold mining space in general, in junior mining space in particular, in Port Castor Gold as well. Uh, you know, against this backdrop of, you know, 40,000 40, meters of drilling where we've been hitting uh, continuously, uh, we only missed uh, two drill holes out of 117 uh, so far, up, uh, above the cutoff grade 0 0.5. And despite that, the share price has been declining. Uh, and that's the case, unfortunately, with a lot of, uh, uh, you know, most of the junior, gold junior mining companies, the big, the, the majors as well, uh, and unfortunately as as well. Um, you know, that's been driven, at, in my opinion, to a large extent, to one of the most uh, aggressive rate hike uh, uh, cycles we've seen. Uh, and now it seems that we're in, a, in an inflection point. There's a lot of talks about rate cuts over the year. The market discounts several rate cuts. I think there's a lot of people and there's a lot of money on the sidelines waiting to see uh, when the first rate cut comes. Is it March? Is it May? Is it later? Um, yeah, I you know, having said that, I, I think you know we're we're definitely going into that kind of environments. Uh, the gold price, despite that, has been holding on you know relatively well. Has been going up, doing its job. But both the, the majors, the big gold mining companies, as well as the juniors, even to an even more bigger extent, have been coming down. So I think as soon as we see that inflection point and we start seeing the first rate cuts, I think there's going to be, uh, you, know, you know, the floodgates will open into the into the space. And right. I, can, I can wait to see that happen. Oh, yeah. It's been a long couple of years. And, um, you know, the truth is, a lot of these companies are actually very attractively valued. They're trading well below fundamental value, and I think investors should take notes because we don't know when it's coming, but it's going to be coming sooner or later. That turnaround. So you know, people that come in early, you know, make the most money. Right, and 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 can get rewarded eventually when when gold and gold stocks eventually yeah. reward you. So you've got uh, good institutional support, uh, even when we see those the bond yields roll over and and uh, uh, you know some rate cuts from the Fed. Going into 24, uh, how do we look? How do we look for Cassier Gold then? What's what's the picture for the rest of the year? 
Yeah, so you know we've 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 been drilling quite a bit. We'll, we'll have another drill program. Actually, we still have some some catalysts ahead of us. We uh, will we'll still have some results to put out. We have at least six drills to release. We also did a quite an extensive uh, field program uh, in September that included cell grid survey for over three square kilometers, an IP survey for roughly 10 square kilometers, and a mapping uh, program for 30 square kilometers around uh, the Taurus deposit, the area that actually is centered around Taurus, uh, goes all the way down to New Coast, two and a half kilometers south, and all the way up to the Snow Creek target, which is roughly three kilometers to the east, northeast of Taurus, that could be uh, connected to the Taurus system as well, has simply that possibility. Uh, and then you may will open camp again and uh, keep on drilling and hopefully against a, a backdrop where we actually get rewarded for the results we've been providing. But, you know, I would be happy in the next few months just to see uh, the valuations reflect the true value of the companies and just get back to uh, to fair valuation. Um, and, uh, and, you know, but I, I believe as well, if we see... Uh, you know, a bull market in the gold space like we've been seeing, what we saw in lithium or in the uranium space yeah. recently. Yeah. Um, things can go very quickly from uh, being highly undervalued to be fairly valued to be all of a sudden the mania almost. Yeah. Valued. So yeah. you know, hopefully that's what we see in the coming months. So, okay, thanks for the update, Marco. Thanks for having me, Marco Rock, CEO of Cassiar Gold. <laughs>